Oh yeah, it's big, whatever it is. Wow. Woo! Watch those teeth. Woohoo! Oh yeah. Good job, Justin. Good. That's amazing. Is he crying? Are you crying? <laughs> oh, you're all crying. I gave up the corporate life to pursue my passion for kayak fishing full time. And a few times a year, I head to Los Buzos Resort in Panama. There, I serve as a guest guide, helping anglers figure out one of the most epic fisheries on the planet. Trophy rooster fish, bro. It's a tuna. We got a tuna. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. The land of giants. Look at the Panama! So we've completed three of five days of the Los Buzos Kayak Fishing World Championship. We got 11 anglers from eight different countries around the world competing for $10,000. We've got Jimmy from Georgia, Murr from Singapore, and James from Canada all neck and neck for first place with Lance from Costa Rica right on their heels. But one sailfish or one marlin, just one bite, could catapult any of the goose eggs to the top of the leaderboard, so it's still very much anyone's game. Day four, first place leader. Yeah. You ready? I'm ready to expand that lead. I think today's gonna be a good day. Hop in, I'll, I'll pull you around it, yep. Good luck. All right, guys, everyone get behind us. We're going to lead you out, count you down, set you loose. Day four of the Los Buzos Kayak Fishing World Championships. It is still very much anyone's game. Lines in, fishing can commence in five, four, three, two, one. Go get them, boys. Does it, eh, mate? Oh, I see it too. What is it? Yeah! Nice rooster for Murr from Singapore. On the jig? Of course. Take your time, it's not, yeah. Take your time. Nice. Merv has a big rooster fish on the jig under the boat. He's trying to get it up. Yeah, they're strong. They just have a lot of endurance. They'll fight for a long time. So just take your time. Don't rush it. So Merv here is in second place, but only by like 0.2 points. So uh, 50 point trophy rooster fish right now would uh, put him in a commanding lead here on day four. Nice fish. Dude, that'll go 48. Yeah. Nice. Woo! <laughs> Nice. Ah. Uh, Seven. Forties. It's like one inch short. So we just heard that Jimmy from Georgia, our day four leader, just landed his second yellowfin tuna of the day. Yellowfin. Nice. Nice one. Woo! Good job. Woo! -hoo. Wow. Forty-seven. Woo! Hold it up. <laughs> All right, Hell he's yeah. in the run, baby. Guess who's in the lead? That takes the lead, baby. Yep. All right, hell yeah, man. Right, I'm in there, I'm in the race. There you go. You're in first place. <laughs> All right, so two lead changes today. Merv got a just shy of trophy rooster fish, which 48 inches would have been 50 points for him, which would have put him in a pretty commanding lead. He was sitting less than one point out of first place. Unfortunately, the fish went about 46 and a half, maybe 47 inches, so just shy, which gives him 15 points, but still the lead on day four early, 90 points. And we just got word that Lance from Costa Rica landed a trophy Cubero, which is 50 points, which would add to his uh, 51 point score. Puts him at 101 points, so he takes over the lead on day four from Merv from Singapore. But uh, really this thing is still anybody's game. One sailfish is 200 points, they'd be double the current leader. And uh, just a couple trophy fish, and they'd be on 
Well, it's been kind of a, the bite's kind of slowed down now. So Pio and me, we're uh, we're doing a little fishing of our own. Sounds like you just missed a fish. <laughs> yeah, Pio's hooked up. Oh, oh, oh nice. <laughs> nice, Pio just hooked up on the jig. Capitan! Made a few screaming runs. Doesn't look very heavy, but it was fast. Pido, pero no muchas libras. Oh, como atún, pero we got color. Gallo, rooster fish on the jig. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh! <laughs> nice, rooster fish. We're just out here messing around. It's been a slow bite. Been dropping the jig and uh, Captain Pio here just uh, stuck a nice rooster. Just trying to show the competitors that there are fish here. So they're kind of having a tough day. Wow. Nice. Hey, hey. Yeah. All right, Merv from Singapore is hooked up here at the end of the day. We got six minutes left. He doesn't have to land it before time's up. He just has to hook it, so he's good to land this fish. Does it feel big? Getting this one at the end of the fourth quarter. We'll see what it is, see if it counts for points. Oh, oh yeah. It's un grande pargo, pero no cuber. Mira la blanca. Rayas. Croquero. Ah. Wow, big one. Nice, man. The end of the day, that's a good one, dude. Really good one. Heck yeah, man. Clutch in overtime. Just yeah. a few minutes left. Don't any left, man. Great fish, man. Wow. That might even get you back in first place, man. I think you're down 11. That's definitely 11. Es más de 11, ¿no? Entonces él es primero. Porque 101 y él tiene 90. Más de 11. Con con 3 minutos. Wow. Wow, that's killer, man. Yeah, and there's lines out. Wow, so we just rolled up on Merv just to come pick him up. It was five minutes until lines out. We show up, he's doubled over with the rod, pulls up a big rock snapper, and unless Lance caught more than we heard about over there, that'll put him back in first place at the end of day four. We will see when we get back at the weigh-in. Nice work, man. That is a great fish. This has been a crazy adventure. Yeah. <laughs> hey, get the fish first, man. The fish gallop boat. Yeah. Ah. Got it. Dude, that's a big one, man. That is one of the bigger ones I've ever seen here. Oh, my. That's on the way. I've got a little Let's go with Joe. Day four weigh in begins now. Joe, the solid rock snapper. These weigh a lot for their size. Let's see. 7.13 for Joe. Nice. All right, Jimmy. Jimmy, tuna number one. He's creeping back up. 6.37. Nice. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy was in first place this morning. A little better. A couple of tunas. 10. 10.04. Woo, that's a good one. Nice work, Jimmy. Merv, Rove's that bird. So Lance got 50, Merv got 50 plus this fish. Still kicking, yeah. Down to the wire. Yeah. 50 or 15? 15, sorry, sorry. He might, he might kick and add some weight. Yeah. Like three minutes before. Lines out. Yeah. Thirteen point eight six. That puts, that puts oh, Merv back oh, in first. Oh, ah, mine was <laughs> big. <laughs> you went from a hundredth behind to a point eight. All right, what's the difference? Lance is one hundred one. Merv is one hundred three. Oh. So Merv Singapore is ahead by two points ahead of Costa Rica. Lance. Whoa. And we got Jimmy really right on their heels with 91. So yeah. I mean, yeah. 10 points behind in third place. And Joe had a very important yeah. seven pounds. Yeah. yeah. When you're less than 50 behind, you're in the game. Yeah, yeah. Joe's one trophy rooster away from first. Everybody's in the game. 
Everyone's one sailfish from winning right yeah, now. So. Get on it. Yep. Morris just cut up some sashimi. Who are we going to do this at? Got rainbow runner sashimi, tuna sashimi. You guys like the rainbow runner? I, that's pretty good. I think it's better of the two. No. Yeah, I like the... Yeah, it's good. We like it. It's... The yellow yeah, we don't mine. catch enough of them to be like a... We caught the first one two years ago. Adam got one at Punta Naranja the day we got stopped by the Navy and the motor broke. Awesome. Here. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's snoring, man. It yeah. fucking woke me it's up out of a deep sleep. He's doing it on purpose. The Rainbow Runner is so good, but the Yellowfin tuna, you, you can't beat it. Can't beat it. Got Danny and Jesse cooking dinner for everyone. I'm not very photogenic. We're going to have a serious volume. I think that's probably ready. No! <laughs> I look horrible. No, you don't. Jesse looks beautiful. Always do, always do. Fried grouper and snapper. Yeah, I got the snappers. What's with the hard thing to see? Oh, that one was one. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking. Yeah. All right, guys, it's day five, the fifth and final day of the Los Buzos Kayak Fishing World Championship. Getting launched right now, we got a really early start, the sun's just coming up. But really it's anybody's game, we got four people kind of fighting for first, but anybody could land a sailfish or a marlin and take first place for sure. So, it's gonna be an exciting day. We're gonna get out there and see what we can get into. All right, boys, the fifth and final day of the Los Buzos Kayak Fishing World Championship. Do not despair. If you're sitting on a goose egg right now, one bite, could turn today into a $10,000 day. And worldwide recognition, all the ladies. We're gonna start lines in, in five, four, three, dos, uno. <laughs> Good luck, Does fellas. Does that mean now? <laughs> I don't speak Spanish! <laughs> there we go, got a bait. This is actually a uh, hawkfish. They're pretty good to eat, but that's a small guy. We have plenty of fish. Go. What is that? Dang, that species doesn't count though. Woo -hoo! I'm rooting for you, James. Sounds like James just landed his third broomtail grouper of the tournament. Oh, 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 now Lance from Costa Rica is on a rooster, but it sounds like it's a little bit short of trophy class, so it'll only be 15 points instead of 50. Yep. Nice, there you go. Wait. Shit, I want that 50. I got smoked earlier by Vic Snapper. <laughs> I know, dude, right off the bat. Come on, James. $10,000 fish. Wow, that's fighting hard, huh? Whatever it is, if you land it, you're in first. Wow, whoa. Oh, Vic, oh, get that out. sucker, get that sucker in the boat. What is that? AJ, AJ, that counts. That counts for weight. Wow. This one? Huh? What is this one? It's an Alvaco Jack. He's like, what is that? Fish on a swim bait. <laughs> that is my first broomtail grouper. That right there is a new species for me. That is a broomtail grouper. Now that is just a baby. We catch them over 50 pounds here somewhat regularly, but I've never caught one. And that is my first one. Really, really cool fish. I'm gonna let him go. We got plenty of fish back at the lodge. See if, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> see if I can't find a bigger one. Let this guy swim another day. See if he can't grow big for a future client. Sweet fish. Oh gosh, there he goes. He was in a hurry. You got it. Oh yeah, it's big, whatever it is. That's 50 points, huh? That's 50 points. 50 points, Justin. All right, so you yeah. gotta grab like their gill plate on yeah, the side and you can bring them up. Please. They got teeth, so be careful. They got very big teeth. Oh, yeah! Woo-hoo! Nice fish, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that thing, too. 50 <laughs> points for Australia. Wow. Woo! Oh, my God. <laughs> Watch those teeth. Yeah, okay. 
<laughs> oh yeah! Good job, Justin. That's amazing. <laughs> Is he crying? Are you crying? I'm crying. I'm crying too. Oh, you're all crying. I've been crying the whole time. Hell yeah. It's not bubbles. Oh, Justin. Now to get the heart pumping. <laughs> Well, we're having an exciting final day of the tournament. Justin from Australia had been zeroed until now. He was uh, feeling pretty disheartened last night, wanted to catch something to represent his country, and he just landed a really nice Kubera snapper. Still about an hour left. James is still fishing, Murph's still fishing down there. Lance from Costa Rica, he is definitely still in the hunt. If he can find a big fish, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for the Los Buzos. Kayak Fishing World Championship. We're about to do the weigh in. Weigh today's fish, the final day's fish. See what the uh, what was brought in today. And then later we'll announce the winner. Alright, we're gonna weigh. Woo! -hoo! Merv Trooper. Merv. Nice. Merv was our day five leader going into today. Trying to hang on to his lead. And that is a big broom tail to do it. Woo! 31! 31.13. Yeah, get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Hey! The weight of the Pohalo is a Think of Guru Five the Clock, man. That might be a $10,000 grouper. It might be the most expensive grouper you ever caught. I would definitely brush your teeth. Definitely, definitely watch your mouth. Got Jamie keeping score. Show the score. All okay. right, Adam, what we got next? Now we got James. James McBeth from Jackson Kayak. James was in third. They had a... Going into the day. And it, it had broken someone else off. There's a circle hook with line in his mouth. Oh, oh wow. That belongs to Lost Busa. That stays. That was Some client is watching this right now like, that was my fish. That was my hoop. Are you nervous? I'm nervous. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> 24.03. It's a solid broom tail. Got that? I got it. Oh, yeah. Almaco Jack. And a stud. Woo! That's a stud. That's a fish, man. That is a fish. And that's dinner, too, yeah. We're going to need the Almaco. Almaco. All right, what's the guess? What's the guess? 42. 42? 38.5. 47.5. I'll go 40, I'll go 44. 45. <laughs> let it down, let it down. 44. 47.36. What'd I say? 47.5? <laughs> I'm getting it close. Oh wow. James McBeth from Canada. A couple really nice fish today. <laughs> 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 nice picture. Nice. Nice. Woo! Nice, nice work. Great fish, Great fish man. Perfect. All right, what a day. Some huge fish caught here on day five of the Los Buzos Kayak Fishing World Championship. I always say these tournaments are so much harder than our normal weeks. If you come here as a regular client, we are handing you baits all day, telling you where to fish them, how to fish them, really holding your hand through it. All of our clients really find success here. But for these guys to come here, a lot of them have never been here before, and we're not sitting here kind of holding their hand, telling them what to do. So they got to go out there, figure out a brand new fishery to themselves. It's a very dynamic fishery. It's got tons of fish in it, but there are some very specific patterns. So for these guys to come here and catch the fish that they did is wildly impressive. It speaks volumes about these guys they've come here to represent their countries come here to represent the sport and uh here in a couple hours we will announce the winner who will be taking home ten thousand dollars and worldwide bragging rights stay tuned <laughs> two three one action all right guys welcome to the award ceremony for the first annual los buzos kayak fishing world championship someone's gonna go home tonight with ten thousand dollars 
and worldwide bragging rights. Adam Fisk, right. head of operations here, is gonna run us through the, uh, the top three and the winner. All right, so we're gonna start with uh, third place. Lance Clinton from Costa Rica with 102.5 dollars. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. Very impressive to break 100 points. Oh yeah. Uh, second place, Merv. Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> 134.57 points. Wow. wow. Killer. And the champion, James from Canada. 143.35 points. Wow. Yeah. Uh, massive oh. room tail groupers. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's a big check. Nice. Jackson Kayak Kraken. <laughs> All right. That's right. <laughs>